Oh my fucking God. I'm so fucking mad. I'm so fucking mad right now. I'm, I could literally fucking cry. Y'all, I literally could fucking cry. The fucking movie was terrible. Like, it was so good, but the ending, why would they do that? <laughs> why would they do that fucking hating ass fucking people I'm so fucking mad <laughs> I just finished watching Joker 2 and it was so good I was so into it y'all but there's some horrible fucking parts in there like when he's getting raped in jail and when they fucking stabbing him <laughs> some hating ass fucking inmate so jealous of him gonna stab him all up in his stomach and shit and lady gaga i'm so mad at you like why would you she's like you you said it there's no joker so the only thing we had was the fantasy so if there's no joker there's no fantasy so we're not going anywhere arthur we're not going anywhere. But all I can say is this. It was a great movie. A lot of things in there I was not expecting to see. Like seeing him get raped in jail. Who the fuck wants to see that? Not me. They did live up to the expectations. Because remember, I was telling y'all that I was worried about the fact that, you know, the part one was so good. And I was worried about... Let me take my shades off so y'all can see me. I was worried about, you know, if they was going to be able to keep up with the whole stamina of the first part. But they did. I can actually say that Joker, Joker 2 was fabulous. It's just a few things in the movie that I didn't fucking like. But anyways, I gotta go, y'all. Because I gotta make a call. Oh my god, that shit just pissed me off. You don't understand what? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put a disclaimer before I edit this part in. Um, So for those of y'all that you didn't see it yet, I don't want to spoil it for y'all, you know? Because I, I definitely want y'all to go and watch the movie. <sighs> But it, it really was just the ending for me because it, it always got to be like, it's like in life, yo. This shit get me tight. Like it always got to be some hating ass motherfucker taking things to the very next fucking level that you know you ain't had no business taking that shit there. You so fucking jealous. The whole movie, this fucking inmate was kissing his ass, sucking his fucking asshole. But now all of a sudden you want to stab me in the stomach. Get the fuck out of here. I'm so y'all, I'm I'm heated right now. I was not expecting some of that shit to be in that fucking movie, yo. <laughs> I'ma finish talking to y'all hey, later. Y so we at the garden. Bella is mad because Wookie is not letting her be free. <sighs> so yeah, we just got here. Um Yeah, yeah. Um, this banana is so fresh. Um, it's just so nice out, you know. I was like, let's go outside. And my daughter, she has so many complaints. She's like, oh, the invasive species, the bugs, this, that, it's hot. Girl, if you didn't want to come, you should have stayed your ass home, all right? Because I don't have time for that. Me and Bella, exactly. Me and Bella loves to come out in nature and, you know, be healed and spend time with nature because it really is the best place to be, y'all. And then, y'all, I just had a situation because I ordered some things on DoorDash, you know, little little groceries and things like that cat food and stuff like that but I also needed to order some pads because you know I'm on my cycle and it's almost done but I ran out of pads so you know I'm checking the bags and stuff and then I walked out realizing that 
I didn't even unpack the pad. So I text him and I'm like, hey, like, did you not get the pads? He's like, oh, I did. Actually, they fell out the bag. Um, I can be there in 15 minutes because I'm doing another order. I'm like, look, just leave it in front of my door. So now I'm not home. He's going to drop the pads off in front of my door. So I had to get some new pads. So I ran into the supermarket and I got these. I never used these before. You Kotex or whatever. So they 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 pretty comfortable. They was inexpensive too. They was like they was like six dollars, like almost seven dollars. So I bought that. So now I'm happy because I got what I needed. But um, but um, I just wish my daughter was stop fucking complaining because it's so irritating. Like I thought I complained a lot. No, she's worse than me. Okay. I'm learning just not to complain, you know, because like be blessed, you know, be happy. This is your life. You only get one life. You're not you're not gonna get this life back. Okay. So it's it's best to just enjoy it for what it is and make it the best that you can make it. That's it. But complaining about bugs and this and that, who cares about bugs? They got one life too. They're just trying to live their life. Okay, so the basic species can burn a fire. Who oh, cares what they do? Either you smush them or you don't. They, that's their one life. I don't care, they're demons. So, and then, by her just saying that, talking about their demons, that just brought me to my next thought. My next thought is, some girl on TikTok, which I already noticed, right? But, ooh, a bug flew on my face. But it can get technical. So, she was like, flies and roaches are demons. You know, those are demons sent from monitoring spirits and i already knew that but is it still monitor i know the fly the flies are definitely flies are definitely demons monitoring spirits but when it comes to the roaches if you live in the hood and you have roaches which you know almost everybody that lives in the hood has roaches okay that's just the truth um so does that mean that all the roaches in your apartment <laughs> are demons? I Because I don't really necessarily look at it like that. I just look at it as they have a fucking infestation. And instead of getting down to the root of shit, they just love to cover shit up. And that's not how you fix a problem. You know, you fix a problem by getting down to the root of that tree and investigating what is causing this fucking problem. And then you fix it from the bottom to the top but they don't do that right they just cover shit up giving you this giving you that and you still have the same fucking problems so i said all that to say i don't think that all of the roaches that are in the hood are demons i don't i just think that there is a deep infestation there because i'll tell y'all this when I lived in my old apartment in Dykeman, I didn't have not one roach. Not one. Um, and I that's one thing I do miss about Dykeman. Like, it was very clean. Like, they don't play about those. The projects in Dykeman, they don't play about that shit. People in Dykeman don't have roaches. And if they do, it's because they're dirty and... And you know they're they're dirty so that's why they had that shit over where i live now in brooklyn i do have roaches you know but like it's not that bad it's i did have this one time where i was so fucking embarrassed y'all i had company over and it was oh my god i'm even so embarrassed to tell you this because my apartment was never this fucking bad never but it just had to be like this. This one particular day, I had company over. And when I tell you, they just, it's like the roaches, they just wanted to come out. It's like they wanted, <coughs> oh my God. They wanted to hang out with me and my boo at the time. They wanted to chill with us, smoke with us, drink with us, kick it with us. And they was everywhere. Not like that, like that, y'all. But they were like crawling from under the couch trying to curl up the fucking wall and then he's like because he'd been to my house before and he never experienced that that's what i'm telling y'all i never had an experience like this and um he's like damn boo you know like what's going on <laughs> you know type shit and i'm like please like 
excuse my fucking apartment like i don't know what's going on like all of a sudden why all of a sudden we sit here and hold these fucking Oh my god. No, you're not the only one that comes to the garden. No, but this place is a public garden. No, but this was just clear, wasn't it? Now there's 20,000 people. Hooch, I'll come back. All right, they're walking away. Yeah, because I don't like, like, I'm talking about some real crazy shit right now. So I don't need people walking by when I'm talking about roaches. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. So he's like, boo, like, like, what's going on? Like, I see you having a lot of roaches. I'm like, I don't, I'm like, please, like, don't fucking judge me. Like, I don't know what's fucking going on. Like, you know, because you've been in my fucking apartment before. Like, my apartment is clean. It stays clean. Like, I don't have them type of problems, you know? I'm like, but this past couple of months, like, the roaches have literally been coming through my window. Okay? And I keep screens on all my windows because y'all know I have a cat. So I can't, like, just open my windows like that. And I don't like to close them either because I love to have that fresh air coming in constantly. So I'm like, yeah, like I noticed them coming through the fucking kitchen window and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know how to stop it, you know, because I, I cook almost every day, right? So, which means my window's open with a screen. So I can't close my fucking window, you know, I need to air out my kitchen. I don't like, I also don't like my apartment to smell like food, you know? So that's why I also keep my windows open as well. So he was very understanding. He knows that I don't live like no slob. He been in my house so like, like, how many times like five fucking times he knows the type of person that i am and how i live if you come to somebody's house my house is clean it's very neat everything is in its place like i don't play like that but it's just unfortunate when you do live in the hood though y'all because you like you know maybe somebody else's apartment is going through an infestation or they maybe they're fucking dirty so the, the roaches would just you know be crawling going into everybody's apartment that's next to that apartment and it just fucking sucks update because that was when did i see him i think that was in the summer or some shit i don't i don't even remember remember it was a minute ago though i haven't seen him but um <sighs> update they are currently not still coming through the fucking window um they do still creep you know because these roaches and these and these hood ass projects come from behind the cabinets and in the walls and shit like that you know so that's where they are and like if I do leave some food out and I didn't put it up yet, they will come out. Or if they smell me cooking, like they will come out. But um, it'll only be like one or two. Like they're not like, it's nowhere near compared to what it was when my little boo had came over. Oh my God, y'all, I was so embarrassed. Like he's like, no. And then, you know, I love people that can just be transparent and be real and stuff too. And when I was telling him, like, I don't know what's going on with my apartment. Like, these fucking roaches are coming through the window. Like, you know, I pray that this shit just stops because I never experienced no shit like this. He's like, oh, you know, don't feel bad. Don't worry about it. You know, because I when I first because he had first moved into his apartment recently. Well, when, you know, at that time, a couple months ago. So he was like, when I first moved in, like, I had a roach problem, too. Like, I was so fucking that shit was pissing me off. But. I use some like gel or some shit. He was like, do you want me to get it for you? I can like, I think I have some, some left and you can like put it around the house. And I was like, no, like this shit is going to stop because trust me, I have never lived like this. Like, you know, they must be obviously coming from another apartment type shit. So, but I'm grateful for him to even share that about what he was going through, you know? Um, you know, and even offer to help me, you know, at that time, I was very grateful, but still very low key embarrassed because when you're just dealing with any sort of infestation, it is embarrassing. Roaches, flies, ticks, nets, spiders, this, that, motherfucker! <laughs> Where are they coming? <laughs> y'all, that invasive species just trying to jump on me. Y'all saw me? But anyways, y'all, we're going to finish the trail. So maybe I'll vlog some more. Um, You know, maybe, maybe not. Because I do just want to, like, take in the moment and things like that. So yeah and it's very crowded here today i can already i literally already seen like 10 fucking people and what i should have did this is what i should have did this morning i should have just got up and took my walk by myself without my daughter and my cat and i could have had a peaceful fucking time but no the type of mother i am i feel like oh no we can make this a whole family trip let's go everybody let's go and then she starts complaining bella's fucking talking too fucking much and i'm just trying to be peaceful and yeah 
but I still do very much love my family. We're gonna continue the trail. Maybe I'll see you later on in the trail, or maybe you'll see me just in another in another clip that's not at the garden. So say bye to Bella. Come here, mama. Come here, mama. Say bye bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, y'all bye.